When you don't have time to physically measure the components of a tracked undercarriage, what do you look for? In this series of video programs, I will show you what to look for and how to make reasonable estimates of the amount of wear on each component. The information provided in this program will give you the confidence to quickly assess the condition of this valuable part of the machine. This video will focus in on excavators. We will look at many excavators, dozers, and skid steers in future video programs. Excavator undercarriages are basically of the same composition as older track type tractors. This partially dismantled chain shows a bushing in the small end of the link that extends beyond and engages with the big end of the next link. Spring type washers are used at the end of the bushing space in the links to seal out dirt. A pin is pressed in to hold the links in place and to be the hinge point for each joint. As the links are pressed together, the washers deflect to bite on the pin and the outside of the circle of the next link. These types of chains are known as seal track. The chains are joined together at the ends to form a circle. That joint is done through the use of a master bushing and a master pin. This brand of chain uses a fiber seal on the master pin joint, but most other brands have the spring washers and a metal spacer. Master pins like this are pressed in and have a smaller diameter in the middle to make installing them easier. There are slip fit master pins with a T-shaped head that are held in with a cotter key. Sprocket teeth wear against the outsides of the track bushings. The amount of wear can be seen by how thick the tips of the teeth are. Here is a new sprocket installed on a new machine. The wear on the outsides of the track bushings is proportional to the wear on the sprocket teeth. It seems counterintuitive, but the most wear on the bushings occurs when the machine is in reverse. Compare this worn bushing to the track bushing in a new machine. Bottom roller diameters get smaller while the outside flanges stay nearly the same as when new. As the running surface of the roller wears down, the flanges get closer to the track pin bosses in the track links. The bottom rollers on the ends of the track frames wear faster than the ones in the middle. The hardened area on the chain links that right against the bottom rollers is called the rail. Here you see the flanges of the new rollers just cover the rail part of the link. The front idlers have a center step that fits between the chain links. As the chains ride on the lower steps, it wears down the wheel making the step get deeper. Note the wear on the subject idler compared against the new machine idlers. The position of the front idler in the track frame will indicate the internal wear between the pins and bushings of the track chains. You can look at the end of the track frame and see how close the idler support blocks are to the end of the frame. In general, when the front of the front idler support block reaches the end of the track frame, the internal wear of the pins and bushings is about 100%. Over time, the fit between the track links and the pins will loosen and the links will start to spread on the pins. This can be seen by looking at the joints as the track turns over the top of the front idlers or the sprockets. Here is a track where you can see the bushing between the two links. New chain links will be tight against each other. The components of excavator undercarriages do not always wear at the same rate. It's pretty common for bottom rollers, top rollers, and front idlers to last through two sets of sprockets and chains. Track pads might last through three sets of chains depending on the type of material the machine is working in. Here is a quick inspection process that will give you a feel for the amount of wear on the bottom of a machine. I like to start at the sprockets, noting the wear on the tips of the teeth. I'll scan down to see if I can see the track bushings. Then I'll crouch low and look toward the front of the machine looking for leaking bottom rollers and bottom roller flanges that are riding on the track pin bosses. I'll stand and look at the front idlers checking where the support blocks are in relation to the track frame. Finally I'll stand over the front idler checking to see if the track links have spread on the track pins. Knowing the difference between new and worn out components will allow you to judge the overall wear on excavator tracked undercarriages. Here are some photos of completely worn out components for a point of reference. 
If this kind of information is useful to you, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.